I think the main difference between WAPA and the other institutions in Australia is that we have a really extensive visiting artist program. Um, so this evening, for example, we've got Alison Wedding from New York singing with us, and this year we've already had uh, Joe Lovano, uh, Aaron Goldberg, and a whole range of guests. Nobody were here, the, the whole group were here for a week. I am blown away, actually, by the students here. I think that they're fantastic, and their attitude is what really sets them apart. They've all seemed very, very uh, excited about the music and open-minded in the workshops I've been teaching here. The students really get to experience performing in a whole range of different situations. We've got a wide variety of ensembles from big band to the Mingus ensemble. And the talent level is really, really high. So, and I can tell that the work ethic is also really great here. The average day at WAPA um, usually starts pretty early, whether I've got practice to do in the morning or um, a class at 8.30. Today I had big band as well, so whopper has got a couple of large ensembles, which is really great to play in a big band at uni. Um, what kind of changes from day to day? Um, some days are really busy, um, especially this year when our timetable shifts around a lot, but some days are really free. Uh, it's a, it's, we get a really good balance. And the, the class load isn't too heavy, but um, when you're studying music, you have to practice. So I'm usually at Whopper all day, every day. Um, just getting to play music all the time and getting to play music with uh, all my buddies and stuff that I've, I've met here and gotten to, gotten to know pretty well. My favourite part of the course is be, uh, having the opportunity to play all the time. Teachers can teach a lot, but you have to do a lot of work yourself. We learn by performing, we learn by playing with other people and improvising and reacting to the people we perform with. We understand that there's certain kind of theoretical concepts that need to be taught in, in a class. However, we realise that everything goes out the window you start the minute you start playing with other people. So we really encourage and, and actually insist that our students are playing and improvising with other, other um, students on a regular basis. The thing that I got the most out of was having just having the experience from being around all these uh, all these really great musicians and having the opportunity to you know be around them and play with them and being taught by them all the time. Uh, my favourite part is just being able to play all the time and getting to learn from all the amazing lecturers here. I think in order to forge a career in jazz, work hard at what you do and be passionate about it. A strong work ethic. Just to love what you do and to work really hard. Listen to lots of jazz, listen to what you're into. Give it a shot. An attitude of just never quitting and be willing to, to play music with anyone, anywhere, anytime, because you never know what anyone else can do for you. Tonight's concert's really kind of a blast from the past for me. Uh, when I lived in Melbourne, I used to perform with a group called Blowfish that Jamie led. So a lot of this repertoire is what we used to do when I lived there, uh, some standards, and we're even doing one of my original tunes as well. So it's gonna be great. There's only empty love to feel the feeling I will see. Today was a gift, tomorrow I look forward to. Thank you. 